Hi, and welcome to your 8th iOS programming tutorial, and today we are looking at in-app email using Message UI. In-app email is essentially the ability for the user to send an email within the application that you have created. You can set the recipients, the CC, BCC, the subject, and the text all for them, and all they have to do is press send. It's a really great way of encouraging users to share your application, as well as creating a basic contact form, which I'll show you how to do later on. For now, let's get started. Open up Xcode and create a new project. Let's select a single view application and click next. For the product name, I'm just going to call it in-app email, but you can call yours whatever you want. You can customize all of this stuff on this page, except make sure that you are using automatic reference counting. That will make a big difference. Click next and create your project. The first thing that we're going to do today is we're going to go, once we're in our summary, into build phases. That's up the top to the right of the summary tab. Then there'll be a little arrow next to something that says link binary with libraries. Click on that arrow and you should see three rows, each saying UIKit, Foundation, and Core Graphics Framework. To send an email within our application, we have to import a library. Essentially, a library gives you the ability to use other code. So you might import graphics libraries if you've got advanced graphics. The reason they're not all imported by default is that would use up a lot of memory, as all the libraries that iOS integrates all together would probably use close to a gigabyte of memory. So let's click that plus button underneath the core graphics, which is probably at the bottom, and then you'll be prompted with this dialog box. In here, we need to search for what we're looking for, or you can scroll down and find it. We're looking for message UI dot framework, so you just search for it and it should come up. Double click on it to add it in, and then make sure you've got it set to required. If you don't, click on the double arrows and make sure you select it. You can reorder them if you want and do whatever you want really. You'll also notice that on our project summary hierarchy view, underneath our summary above the in-app email folder, message UI framework will have been created. Let's quickly, just for the process of refactoring, drag that into our frameworks folder, just so it's out of the way. Now let's get started. Firstly, you will have noticed that you now get a red uh, line when you did that with your message UI framework. That's a problem because message UI no longer knows where it's stored. So press the minus button and then click on message UI and then drag it back in. Go command B to build your project and you should have no errors anymore. Now let's go into our main storyboard dot storyboard. Just a quick tip, if you did still have errors, just start from the beginning and don't drag your framework into the frameworks folder. You might have done something wrong. We'll just have a button that says send email. Later on we'll create a contact form so that the user can enter the recipients, the text, and it will be sent to you. Sort of like if you were developing an app for a business that needed a contact form embedded in their application. So I'm just going to change the text of the button to send email. Then I'm going to go into the assistant editor by clicking on the tuxedo icon near the top right corner. In between at interface and at end, right click on the send email button or control click and drag the blue line in between these two lines of code. Make sure the connection is an action and let's call the action send email. Make sure the type is ID and the arguments are sender. The event, let's make that touch up inside but you can customize that if you know how. The next step is importing our uh, email framework message UI into our viewcontroller.h. By default, the message UI is there, but unless we tell our viewcontroller.h to use message UI, it won't know to. So underneath the import UI kit line, type import or hashtag import, and then when type ahead comes up, select the one with the two carrot arrows or triangular brackets or whatever you want to call them. Press enter, and inside the blue bubble that says header, we need to type message UI slash mfmail compose view controller. You'll get a few options with type ahead, and until you start typing, something may not appear. So take your time and make sure you've got that exact line of code. You will have also had the option of mf message compose view, which is for in-app SMSs, so don't do that. 
the other thing that you may have noticed is when you started using type ahead it came up with message ui slash message ui dot h but you don't want that so click slash then start typing mf map and then the rest will come up then we need to set our view ui view controller to be delegated to mf mail compose view controller so to do that we just need to after the ui view controller line press the shift and then the curly brackets or shift square brackets to get a curly bracket and then in between you have view control and the opening curly bracket type one of those triangular arrows or brackets and type mf mail compose view controller delegate and then close the triangular brackets essentially what we're doing there is saying that although this is usually a ui view controller which is one of these just a view we may need to show a mail compose view controller which is the screen that's shown when the user gets ready to send their email. Don't worry about what I mean, just type it in for now. Now let's go back to our single editor and go into viewcontroller.m. Now we can start adding in the code to send the email. I'll just type all the code now and run through it afterwards. So, let's get started. Type mfmail compose view controller asterisk composer equals open square brackets open another set of square brackets mf mail compose view controller alloc close that set of square brackets in it close that set of square brackets add a semicolon and press enter then square brackets composer set mail compose delegate to self then close those square brackets and add a semicolon. Then type if open square brackets MF mail compose view controller can send mail. Then inside the statements type composer set to recipients open square brackets NS array array with objects at talking mark talking mark common nil close that set of square brackets and the other set of square brackets and add a semicolon then type composer set subject at talking mark talking mark close that set of square brackets and then type composer set message body to at talking mark talking mark and then inside is HTML bubble type no and then close that set of square brackets and add a semicolon and then type composer set modal transition style to uh, we'll make it UI modal transition style cross dissolve close that set of square brackets and add a semicolon and then type self inside square brackets present modal view controller and then we need to type our name of our view controller, which is composer. Animated, yes. Close that set of square brackets and add a semicolon. And then we need to do an else statement. So close your curly brackets for that if statement if Xcode hasn't already. And then type else. And then open curly brackets and press enter. And Xcode will insert the closing curly brackets. Then underneath the end of that IB action, so in between the closing curly bracket and the at end line, add a few spaces and then start typing this dash in brackets void mail compose controller and then just do that first thing that comes up with type ahead let me zoom out a bit because that got quite long and then open a curly bracket and press enter this is what you should have so far let me give you just a moment to catch up okay now I'll zoom in a bit so you won't be able to see the rest of that line, but after you start typing mail compose, it'll come up with the rest of that line in type ahead. If it doesn't, you've probably got an error, so go through your code and see where that may have occurred. Then type if in brackets error, then inside statements we'll do a UI alert view alert equals open two square brackets UI alert view alloc in it with title and then I'll zoom out again and do at talking mark talking mark for the first bubble, at talking mark talking mark for the second bubble, for delegate type nil, for cancel button type at talking mark talking mark, and for other button titles, titles type nil. Then close that set of square brackets and add a semicolon, and then type 
alert show then type self dismiss modal view controller animated and do the first one that has a red line through it I'll explain what that means in a moment for animated type yes close that set of square brackets and then type else open uh, curly brackets and then press enter self dismiss modal view controller animated it is yes and then insert a semicolon so that's all the code and let me quickly explain what all the code does why you're getting warnings and all of that let's start from the top so the users press the send email button and the first thing we're doing is creating an MF mail compose view controller which is just the mail composing view don't worry about that it's essentially just creating a view as you would with an XIB or storyboard but you're doing it programmatically and this next line is just setting the delegate to self because as you might remember in our .h file we set the delegate of the UI view controller to MF mail compose view controller delegate again don't worry about what that means that's a bit more advanced and then we're saying if MF mail compose view controller can send mail then do all of this so there might be times that the MF mail compose view controller cannot send mail if the user hasn't got an email account set up on their phone if there's an error something like that occurs it's most likely that they don't have an account set up on their phone uh, so if it can send mail though then let's set up the mail if it can't send mail which is this else statement then just do nothing we could here actually copy this line these two lines of code the UI alert view in our void mail compose controller and paste those in there okay now let me go through the code in the if the mail composer can send mail firstly we're setting the recipients so let's insert some recipients I'll just do info at 99 cents app development dot com if I wanted to do more than one recipient after the comma I would type at talking mark talking mark and then do another comma and then inside here type the email address of another recipient but I only want one recipient to be inserted by default this essentially means when the mail view comes up there'll already be an a, a recipient address inserted in the to field and then we can do the same with subject we can set one ourselves so the user doesn't have to type one so let's just go inquiry about app it's likely you might be using this in a contact form or as a report a bug issue in your application then we can set a message body so let's just do hi comma backslash n which inserts a new line uh, I'll go through that in another tutorial but it is just inserting a new line I am inquiring about the app and then here we're saying composer set the transition style which is essentially when the mail compose view controller appears on the screen so when the ma mail composer appears then we want to have an animation we don't want it to just be plain so when we present the modal view controller composer which is our view controller our mail view controller we want it to be animated and this is the animation we'll be using and then we've got this else statement which I just went through so if it cannot send mail so if it, if it can send mail do this else or otherwise display an alert so let's inside here insert a title error and then inside our message type an error has occurred let me zoom out and I'll fill in my cancel button title I'll just make that okay and let me quickly copy that into our other alert that we've got in our void mail compose view controller method and I'll just do the same thing error message an error has occurred and the cancel button title okay now let me run th you through this next part so once the uh, view controller has been shown so the mail view is sitting there there may be an error so we're just saying if error meaning if there is an error then show an alert that an error has occurred and then dismiss or hide the view just get rid of it if there's no error and the user presses send or cancel then again get rid of the modal view controller if we weren't to include that the user will press send and the view controller will just stay there doing nothing so there's one other thing you will have noticed which is these three warnings all on the lines present modal view controller if you click on it it will give you a warning about deprecation it'll say it's deprecated and first deprecated in iOS 6 this makes absolutely no difference essentially it's just saying that Apple no longer wants you using present modal view controller there's a more complex one that you can use 
but until about iOS 10 or 11, it won't make any difference whatsoever. If you just want to get rid of the warning, go into your project summary again, the summary tab, and then set the deployment target to be 5. Okay, now let's go back into our view controller and you'll notice that the warnings will have gone. Let's now run our application and see if it works. Okay, so the build has succeeded. If you do have any errors, I'm not surprised, there's a lot of code. And in a moment I'll just show the code for a couple of minutes so you can copy it all down. So, let's try pressing the send email button. Okay, and as you can see, the view animated in, and we've got this mail composed view controller. We've got the address that we already set it to show, the info at 99centsappdevelopment.com, in the to field, preset. The subject's already there. <coughs> and the message. And then we've got that default signature, which on an iPhone will be sent from my iPhone, or if the user's chosen to customise it, it will be that. If I were to click send, that would send that email. And you can see that when I click cancel, delete draft, it says, okay, the mail composer's finished, they've pressed cancel, or they've pressed send. There was no error, so let's just dismiss the view controller. If you wanted to set the BCCs or CCs underneath this composer set to recipient line, type uh, square bracket composer set CC recipients, and then just copy this line of code here, the NS array array with objects and the name of the recipients to CC, or the same for BCC, you just type BCC recipients. You can set a whole lot of these things, and if you just start looking through type head, you'll see all the various things you can set. But let's not worry about that for now. Later on, in another tutorial, I'll show you how to set up a few text fields and create a basic contact form, so users can contact your business or a business you're developing an app for. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial, and if you have any questions, uh, message us directly through YouTube, comment on this video, Visit our Facebook page, www.facebook.com forward slash 99 cents app development, or visit our website, 99 cents app development.com. Thanks for watching, and if you've enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.